the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th Amendment, Progressive Amendments. The way to remember these, incoming senators can't drink with women. Uh, the 16th Amendment is the income tax, 17th Amendment is the direct election of senators, and the 18th Amendment is abolition, not abolition, uh, prohibition of alcohol. 19th Amendment is women's suffrage. We will include in our discussion here the 21st Amendment, which repeals the 18th Amendment. So yes, an amendment to get rid of an amendment. Amendment 16, income tax. The Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes on incomes from whatever source derived without apportionment among the several states and without, without any regard to any census or enumeration. This changed the process for collecting taxes. Prior to taxes being collected uh, based on income, it was based on the population of the state. Now, this was problematic because you could have a large state of very poor people being taxed more than a small state of very wealthy people. So they took in, they needed to take in consideration the wealth of the people counted. The income tax helps to adjust for this. It was ratified in 1913. The 17th Amendment is the direct election of senators, that the Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state elected by the people thereof for six years, and each senator shall have one vote. So this adjusted the uh, Article 1, Section 3, where the state legislatures voted for senators. Uh, now you have a system where, though, the Senate is less impartial now in cases of impeachment. There's also this strange issue of uh, unequal representation in the Senate, especially for larger states, having uh, less proportional representation than smaller states. But it puts the choice of senators into the hands of the people and not the states anymore. So the states don't have representation in the federal government, but the people have more. So more democracy, can't complain about that too much. And so this does demonstrate an opportunity if the people were so inclined to expand democracy further with the direct election of the president, though, as we've discussed in earlier podcasts, that is unlikely. The 18th Amendment is prohibition, and it says that after one year from the ratification of this article, so it gives them some time, stockpile maybe, that the manufacture, sale, or transportation of intoxicating liquors within, and the importation thereof into, or the exportation thereof from, the United States and all territories subject to the jurisdiction, therefore, for beverage purposes, is hereby prohibited. So interestingly, the wording of the 18th Amendment doesn't explicitly prohibit drinking alcohol, only the manufacture, sale, and transportation of it. Now, most people in favor of banning alcohol hope to reduce social problems such as violence and other labor issues. The 19th Amendment is women's right to vote, ratified in 1920. We will cover that in the next episode, which is suffrage amendments. Uh, and then in Amendment 21 repeals the 18th Amendment. In 1933, uh, it, it takes back the 18th Amendment, so it allows for alcohol. Again, it does allow states to make their own laws concerning alcohol. 